Welcome back. Joining me now is Kristen Welker from NBC's Meet the Press. Kristen, good morning. Hi, Christy. Good morning to you. Kristen, this morning there's some criticism coming in for former President Donald Trump, even among his own party this time. It's over a video he shared to Truth Social, and in it, it shows an image on the back of a pickup truck showing President Biden hogtied. Now, these are images we've decided not to show here, but Kristen, let's talk about it. Some are saying this is going too far. Is the Trump campaign defending this? And uh, what have you heard as a response from the Biden camp? The Trump campaign is defending this. The Biden campaign is basically saying that he is inciting political violence. I'm going to be talking to my guests about this, Congressman Don Bacon, uh, Congressman Jim Clyburn, get their reaction to former President Trump's decision to post this on social media. But look, this fits into a broader pattern, quite frankly, for Trump, in which he does not shy away from some of these more violent images. And of course, we know this week, as that hush money trial prepares to get underway, there have been threats made by the former president against not only the judge, but his family member as well. So it's really, for those who have endorsed Former President Trump, I think, uh, putting them in a difficult spot. Where do they stand? How do they, they view these images and these messages coming from the former president? And I would just say that in a primary campaign, those types of tactics play one way. They may help energize the MAGA base. But now he's in a general election. Now his challenge is to energize beyond his base. He's got to win over moderates. He's got to win over independents. And this is very risky. It's not clear that this won't send those very voters that he needs running in the opposite direction, Christy. President Biden also getting a little pushback this morning from the Trump campaign. He has declared today Transgender Day of Visibility, which happens on March 31st every year. And this year just happens to fall on Easter Sunday. Kristen, we have seen some criticism from the Trump camp and House Speaker Mike Johnson. What are, what are you hearing about the pushback to this? Well, the pushback is forceful because, as you say, uh, this is something that has been in place now since 2010. It just happens to fall on Easter. And look, it's worth noting that President Biden has nine other proclamations that he issued on Friday, ranging from organ donations to cancer prevention. And the bottom line is this has nothing to do with Easter. This day of marking and celebrating transgender rights was something that was put in place in 2012, not by President Biden. So there are a whole range of issues why using this to say that President Biden is in some way trying to overshadow Easter, uh, the White House is pushing back pretty forcefully against that. And this morning, we're also getting a look at some financial reports for both the Trump and the Biden campaigns. Which campaign has a financial advantage here? And could that matter in the long run? Well, there's no doubt that the Biden campaign has the financial edge right now. It could matter. It helps certainly with things like building a ground game, getting out the vote, ad campaigns, but it doesn't necessarily translate into victory. We saw that huge fundraiser, former presidents Obama and Clinton out uh, trying to raise money for President Biden, a real show of force. My question is, will they be constant figures out on the campaign trail. That could make the big difference. And then, worth noting, former President Trump's going to be holding his own big dollar fundraiser next week. He says he's hoping to top that $26 million figure that President Biden and his predecessors raised. Kristen, as always, thanks for your insight. Meet the Press airs at 10 right after 11 Alive Weekend Morning News.